Hi, this is Neeti Keswani, author of best-selling book Live Your Dreams, founder Plushing, and your host for Luxury Unplugged. You guessed it right. This podcast is about the indulgence and why do we have to wait to indulge ourselves only on specific days while we have been blessed with all the days to feel special and make someone feel special. Yes, this is what we are going to be discussing in this podcast. So coming up, indulge yourselves anyways. So just around Valentine's Day, I noticed Google being flooded with things like 10 best romantic hotels in Gurugram, 20 romantic places to visit in Gurgaon this Valentine's Day, best Valentine's Day gift shops in Gurgaon, or Valentine's Day specials, stay with candlelight dinner in Delhi and things like that. And there's so many luxury hotels offering amazing deals like Taj Vivanta, Radisson, Hyatt, and of course, the boutique hotels promising a good time at their hotel too. And, and one such caption led me to make my trip and sneakily look up the deal at ITC Moria. Now, I am not someone who gets easily swayed by a deal. Usually, there has to be more to the story. And that's what led me to find out when I went to ITC Moria this weekend. You see, luxury is not only about places and accessories, it is so much more than what meets the eye. Do you agree? Well, do write in your comments and if you're having a strong opinion on the subject, we would like to feature you here. So in any case, write to us at inquirysplashing at gmail.com. So, coming back to the weekend getaway. Now, luxury is about having an experience that makes you feel special. And so I went to Moria to explore my trust with experiential stay, or shall I say responsible luxury, like their quote. To my utter surprise, the hotel lobby, though luxurious, seemed crowded. There was this buzz in the air, and I don't think it was plainly for Valentine's. It was more so because it seemed like a good getaway. A getaway within the city. A good escape from the day-to-day -day routine, from what has been causing so much unnecessary stress because of this thing which came into the environments. It was an escape to fleeting moments of peace and tranquility, to something of indulgence. An indulgence it sure was. Not only we were offered the best suite in the towers, but also the hospitality was world-class. Like I mentioned before, I was here looking for a story and I wasn't disappointed. The story was in the culinary experience. Now, Bukhara's menu has left many salivating for more. The most esteemed personalities like Bill Clinton and Bruce Springsteen and Priyanka Chopra have found themselves craving for the famous Dal Bukhara and we were no different. The cuisines, the authentic preparation and the delight of dairy-rich dal bukhara not to miss the kebabs just add to the flavor and the overall sumptuous meals made us look expectantly whenever the guy serving us came up with more. Because we knew whatever he's bringing is going to be simply delicious and exceed our expectations. So a luxury dining experience in Delhi at the famed Bukhara restaurant at ITC Moria Hotel is something about being relaxed in style. After all, it is one of the top rated restaurants in Asia. But I guess after savoring this awesome colorful meal full of flavors, I did realize I had my story. The story of culinary experience cannot be told in one of these podcasts only. So, they're going to be coming up more and watch for it. So, coming up more. As the flowers flew by and we retreated to our abode, the soft cozy blankets and crisp cotton sheets made us feel very much comfortable. In the morning, while sipping coffee, looking out the bay window, savoring the beauty of Green Delhi, a coffee table book caught my eye. And the author, the avid reader in me, could not lay hands off it. Personally, the book came across as a collection of many art pieces and also served as a brochure of many ITC luxury hotels. Frankly, my take on this would have been 
very different. I feel that books have the capacity to take you into a different world of its own and if it is a coffee table book then it has the capacity to enthrall your experience with pictures, the words, the works. So if you are keen to get a beautiful book designed on your property, I am happy to offer you an opportunity to not only take a consultation but I can also help you create one. Anyways, back to the coffee and the morning. Of course, the breakfast fuels the entire day and the breakfast at Moria's was no different. It had all the flavors and the cuisines that can make your tongue asking for more while your stomach refuses to delve anymore. And as I looked around, I felt that Valentine's just seemed to be an excuse by so many of us to feel pampered and peace. Having said that, I've gone into spells of conscious silence and peace as my work demands that I retreat to quieter places time and again. But then, these are the times of enormous growth and enhancement and have more respect and appreciation for my family for being that and being all that more for me. Whether it is about sipping tea or sitting in a cafe, watching people pass by or roaming antique shops or, you know, cozying up with a glass of wine and a lovely book, some of us feel that luxury is not one fleeting moment of feeling special. Because modern luxury is not only about indulging in ways that thrill only, it is also about luxury unplugged. Honestly, given a choice between a one-time big-time Valentine's Day celebration and a lifetime of thoughtful and generous partnership on a daily basis, I would choose the latter. Most of the smart and savvy women would too. What would be your choice? Write to us in your comments and let's have you here for a tingling discussion on Luxury Unplugged. So, if you're loving what you're hearing, like, subscribe and share our podcast. And if you would like to feature here, write to us on inquiriesplushink at gmail.com. This is Neeti Keswani signing off. Stay tuned for loads of inspiration coming your way same time next week. Thank you.